It is now back to school time in many districts and an ongoing problem for many just getting some students to show up. News 8's Lancaster County reporter Caitlin Smith shows us one district's new plan to take on truancy. It's all signed up for fourth grade in the Solanco School District, but will he show up? I'll just make sure you have all your paperwork here. We expect the best out of our kids, and so going to school every single day is definitely part of what we want for them. They cannot learn if they're not here. But the Solanco superintendent says not all parents are as diligent as Dylan's, even though consistent unexcused absences can cost a parent up to $300 in fines. In 2013, more than 100 students in the high school missed more than 20 days out of the year. That's about 10% of the students. On the elementary school level, that percentage is cut in about half. About 5% of the kids here at Providence Elementary School, or the equivalent to this entire classroom, missed more than 20 days of school last year. A child who misses 20 days of school uh, starting in kindergarten will have missed an entire year of school by the time that child is a freshman, uh, which is a concern. They need to step up and get their kids to school. And this year, they'll have an extra incentive to do that. The school is offering rewards like extra recess, sending more letters home, commending students for coming to school, and it may even announce your child's name over the loudspeaker or put it on a banner in the hallway, letting everyone know your child is making every day count. Truant students are a greater jeopardy of dropping out of school. And dropping out of school is one of the worst things that can happen for a child. And if that's not enough reason to make sure your son or daughter is in school, Dylan's dad has a somewhat different way to look at it. I mean, at the very least, you have a kid out of your hair for a couple hours of the day. In the Solanco School District, Caitlin Smith, News 8. And on the state level, two lawmakers are pushing legislation that would eliminate jail time for parents for unpaid truancy fines. Instead, they want districts to set up individualized truancy elimination plans to help fix the problem before it becomes an issue in the courts.